One big problem, something we're going to see more of, is our disgustingly xenophobic media um, trying to sort of stoke up fear of Afghans coming to this country. This was GB News this morning. I don't want to show you a clip of it. I'm just going to show you a screenshot of the tweet. How do we know that the Taliban or other extremist groups aren't using this route to get operatives into this country? Nigel Farage gives his take on rising numbers of migrants crossing the channel. Now, you know, as, as we've spoken about before, this was going out basically at exactly the same time that much of the world was looking at images of people falling from planes in the sky because they've been trying to cling on to, to military planes because they were so desperate to leave the country. At that moment, you've got Nigel Farage saying, oh, they're probably all the Taliban, right? This is completely designed to stoke fear. It's also ridiculously ill-informed. The, the Taliban aren't really about that. They did harbor terrorists when it was al-Qaeda, but al-Qaeda weren't part of of the Taliban and most people say the Taliban kind of thought that was a mistake because that was you know the thing that ended up getting them them overthrown it's not like ISIS this this idea that the Taliban are like ISIS ISIS did want to you know prompt terrorist attacks across the globe that was a big part of their founding ideology the Taliban aren't right they seem to be interested in putting in place what looks like it might be a pretty horrible regime in Afghanistan but it doesn't look like they're going to plan any terrorist attacks so this idea that they're going to be sneaking in terrorists across the channel or whatever it's it's just nonsense it's ill-informed it shouldn't be published on any you know ofcom regulated tv channel and especially not on a day like today i mean ash i'm sure you're not surprised that this was broadcast on gb news but it's pretty i mean really disgusting isn't it it's more, it even is. more disgusting than i come to expect from that channel it is. It is disgusting. But this is exa exactly what Nigel Farage does. Don't you remember in the run up to the 2016 referendum, that image of desperate asylum seekers, mostly male, all brown skinned, and it was uh, blazoned with the title breaking point. This is the classic Farage racism, which is take images of people who are in really abject desperate situations and say these are people to be afraid of because look they're men they're brown they're muslim which means obviously they want to come here to tear down everything you hold dear now the bigger conversation about why are there so many people fleeing conflicts that the uk the us and nato have had a role in stoking Psh, silence nothing to say there you know saying well hang on aren't there easier ways to um you know expand safe and legal routes where you can then process paperwork when people are there and here in this country can carry out checks then psh, silence nothing all he's interested in is quite frankly stoking a very xenophobic and a very racist narrative to try and make sure that we don't act on our most human and compassionate instincts, which is see people to whom we have obligations because we have been part of an occupying force in their country for 20 years. We invaded, we promised a project of nation building. We've left them worse than when we turned up that we have responsibilities to those people, right? That is the common sense thing. And in order to distract people and, and, and deflect them away from that common sense conclusion, Nigel Farage is taking the big red racism button. And I imagine he won't be alone in this. This is going to be something that you start to hear more of in the mail, in the sun, uh, perhaps even in the spectator as well, the more legitimate face of, uh, you know, racism and xenophobic nationalism. And this is going to be, I think, uh, a rising drumbeat as we start to see the human cost, the cost of displaced peoples uh, start to reach Europe.